hey, 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 episode 43 of Life Strategies with Nat for the Entrepreneurial Woman. I am so excited because we have a guest expert today. It's been a very productive day for me. You guys know that I like to use the word productive rather than busy, but the, um, the episode today is called Stop Being So Busy. And just excuse me while I'm like getting set up here. So Tatiana's going to join us. I'm going to let her introduce herself, but she is entrepreneurial. That's for sure. She's, she's gone from like, she's, she's got her own business. She's just become a mom. I see her there and I'm really excited to bring her on. So let me just, let me just, so da, 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 da. Um, let me know where you guys are calling in from. Uh, if it's morning, evening, if you're watching on the replay, give me a hashtag replay, say hello. If you're live, you know, let's make this as interactive as possible because I know that everyone struggles with this. Hey, Tatiana. <laughs> hello. Are you? Hello. Hello. I'm good. How about you? I'm really good. Hey, Sakshi. Um, Super pumped to have you back because I know this isn't the yeah, first me time, too. but lots has, no. lots has changed, hasn't it? Yeah, oh my yeah, gosh. totally. Lots of change. Oh changed. my gosh! So for those it went so fast. So for those of uh, so for those listening that don't know you or didn't get the chance to listen to you before, mm-hmm. let us tell us about yourself. Yeah, so my name is still the same. So my name is Tatiana Rizdakians, and I, I, I still live in Brussels, Belgium. But uh, I am since since last year live, I became a mom. So I'm now a mom of uh, my baby girl, Laura. She t- just turned five months. So this has been a really life changing experience. And uh, what I do, actually, I'm life and intuitive coach. And I work with uh, high achieving moms that run their own purposeful business. And my mission is really to help them create a harmony, a real and real long lasting harmony between their a successful business and a wonderful family life, of course, without forgetting themselves. So that's what I, that's what I do. I'm really passionate about that. And, uh, and yeah, that's, that's what I, I do. I love it. I love it. So we're talking, stop being so busy today. Yeah. Um, you know, our, our least favorite word, but the one yeah. that comes up all the time because for whatever reason, yeah. right. So I guess, you know, how, yeah. how do you manage it all? Like, how have you managed running a business, be, becoming a mom, managing family life, you know, all the different pie, mm-hmm. the pieces of the pie that make up life? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's true. There, there's a lot. There's a lot. And even if you're listening and you're, you're maybe not a mom or you, you have other things, you, there's always a lot of things. that There are different roles that we have in our lives. And that, that's funny. That's a great question because when, when people ask me, how do you do it all? My, my answer to that is very simple. It's just that I don't. I don't do it all because this, I think that a lot of people, especially women with all the different roles that we have in our lives, we tend to put a lot of pressure on ourselves by thinking that we have to do it all. We have to be perfect mom, perfect wife, perfect uh, uh, with taking care of yourself, perfect in our business. And then just the idea of that feels really, really overwhelming. So I think what is important, and that's really what I applied for myself and what I'm helping my clients do is to be really clear on our priorities and really be focused on these priorities and be okay with not doing the rest. And there's, a, there's even a quote I... I have to remember, but a quote that I love saying that if you are trying to give equal weight to all the things, you are actually um, not giving enough weight to the really important things. Mm. That's and I, I love that quote because I, and I, I think it's, and especially if you're probably, if you, as you and me and all people listening, probably you are high achievers and you, you get, you want to get results. And I've really seen for myself that when I was trying to do a little bit of everything, I get only mediocre results and I end up very exhausted and very unsatisfied. So my advice would be really to focus on your priorities and be okay with not doing it all. That, that would be my golden nugget of advice. I love that. And it's, it's so true, especially, and I'm just going to say <clears throat> to Victoria. Um, and it, it's so true because, you know, we do try to do it all, don't we? We're like, yeah, we got this. And then all of a sudden we're in burnout mode and we're like, what just happened? Yeah. So, um, yeah. Like, how do you, so speaking of taking care of yourself, like how do you balance, Mm -hmm. you know, life 
because it's like almost you have you have a few layers, right? Like yourself is the core, mm-hmm. which you have to take care of yourself. Yeah, so how totally. do you how do you balance it all? Like, yeah, well, yeah, I think that yourself. that's really important, and yeah. It's, it's really important. And I love what you're saying that we are at the core because often a lot of women, they, that our self-care is just the, the last thing on the, on the list. And it's, it's a problem because at the end, we end up feeling exhausted and we, we cannot give to anything, anyone around us. So that it's really important to, to really take care of ourselves. And the way I like to, to think about things is instead of having this perfect balance in life, like being balanced in all areas sometimes it's okay to be as i said unbalanced a little bit more focus on work sometime a little bit more focus on your family but still it is important to be balanced to feel balanced inside and i know that's something that you talk a lot about is really being balanced inside and for that i think again it's knowing what what makes you feel good and what are kind of some non-negotiables you need to have and that for, for me especially while becoming a new mom i i know a lot of moms are just crazy and and that's true you lack sleep and there's a lot of things that are very difficult but I've always made my a priority to take care of myself and even yeah be be okay with sleeping sometimes during the day if that's what I needed or uh, if that was possible or just uh, yeah sometimes asking my husband or my mom to take over and just to have some time for me knowing that I can read a book or I can just take a bath or do something that feels good for me. And I think these are, again, things that you need to prioritize because otherwise it's always the last thing on the list. And so it's, it's important that it's at the top so that the rest is, is not falling apart. So I think it's, it's really a question of priority. I would say again, I think that's, that's awesome because I, I know at, at at one point, you know, everything took precedence over my self care. Like, I'd have great intention to go to the gym and then be like, oh, no, you have to go to this meeting. It's like, uh, okay. Or like, you know, something comes up and, um, you know, Danielle is just saying like, it's the being, not the doing. And she's absolutely right. Like it's it's all about, and and we're not going to talk about this time, but like the be, do, have model. Like you got to be the person first or else everything just falls apart. So yeah, um, I was going to ask you something. um, Like, what do you do to feel less busy and to almost mm-hmm. create more time? Like, I know, I know yeah. that's technically like not possible, yeah. but do you know what I mean? Like you find more <laughs> yeah, time see. almost like, yeah, yeah. That, that, that's, that's actually very funny what you say, because yeah, technically it's not possible to create more time because we all have 24 hours in a day, but it's really the perception of time that you have. And that's something that I, I work a lot on my mindset and I, it's really impressive to see that sometimes and even if I'm I'm working with uh, as a coach and sometimes I feel overwhelmed that's true that's uh, I I need to be honest with that and at the time when I feel overwhelmed I just always look at what's happening in my mind and it's often that very scarcity thoughts like I don't have enough time there's a there's limited amount and 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 then just changing these thoughts really help me see things in a totally different perspective. And from one, one point, I can tell myself, oh, I don't have enough time. This is too much. And then one hour later, and I still have exactly the same amount of things to do. I think, oh, but I have all the time in the world. So I think it's, it's really a matter of being aware of what's happening in your own brain. And uh, so this, this is really, really helpful. And in, I would say in terms of very practical advice, one thing that I love to do as well is to create what I like to call a non-to-do list. So we have the classical to-do list, but you can put in your non-to-do list all the things that you deliberately decide not to do. Like it's out of your mind. Like for example, in my house, we have a garden and I decided that I will do nothing about that garden. There's no decoration, there's no flower, there's nothing. It's just like that for now because it's not my priority. And just writing it down in my non-to-do list, it's just... I don't care about that. Maybe later it's going to be a priority, but not now. And this is, this is very helpful to see that the kind of list of things that we have to do is decreasing. And this is very helpful as well. That's yeah. I love that. I, I definitely yeah. use the not to do list too. I feel like I need to bring it love back. <laughs> um, it hasn't been yeah. happening for the last little while. So o- always a good reminder. A always. Reminder. We always need to go do that. It back. Is. And yeah. even if it's just like three things or something where it's like, yeah, if, yeah. I always find like it's the social media for me. It's like, don't yeah. get lost in social media. 
so oh, easy to God, get lost so in there, easy. really. And yeah. and then before you know it, you're like, oh, how did this time pass? And um, yeah, um, what do you think about like um, putting <clears throat> putting time slots in your like in your week, just like as buffers? Yeah. Like, do you do that? Yeah, actually, I do that. And I was very before being a mom, I found it very very it was easier for me to do that and to really have very dedicated time slot during the week. Uh, and I was doing my best to really commit. And really, if I said that during that time slot, I will do this, I was committing. But since I'm a mom, things has changed a little bit because sometimes things are, are happening, especially when she was at home with me, it was more difficult. And even now she's at daycare, but sometimes she's sick. So we, we don't even know. So what I really try to do is be really clear on the priorities and knowing for my week, what are the big big piece of things that I need to achieve, like whether it's the result that I need to get. Mm -hmm. And I put them inside my, my week in some blocks, but I allow myself to be a little bit flexible and to move things around if I need to. Um, because now I trust myself that I can do that and it's not procrastination or anything because I know what is the end results that I want to achieve at the end of the week. That's, that's what I do. That's now. awesome because it is all about setting those objectives for the week and not yes. setting like, a hundred and I'm exaggerating, yeah. but like, yeah, what yeah, are I know. The, what's the top thing? What's the top two things yeah. you got to get done? And then you just, for, you just yeah. let yourself go. Like, re, like yeah. don't have it so <laughs> hard on yourself. Yeah. You know? this, this is so important because I remember when, when, when my baby was very little and we were, at, she was with me at home I, at the very first week, I, I didn't work at all, but then I wanted to go back to work. And I, I, I really, it, it was very difficult to do things with her because I didn't know when she was going to sleep, when she was going to cry. So, but I said to myself, like, there's two things per week that I need to do for my business and that's it. And sometimes I had, I was lucky and I could do more. And sometimes that's the only thing that I could do, but at least I was satisfied at the end of the week because mm -hmm. I said, okay, I didn't do a lot of things at all, but just these two important things are done. And this is what feels very satisfying. So it's like that. It's uh, progress is happiness. Like you're yes, happiest totally. when you're progressing, even yeah. if it is just yeah. the one check, you're like, yay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's totally important, especially this check is something important because sometimes you can feel sort of a short-term satisfaction by just crossing 20 items of, of your to-do list and say, oh, it's done, it's done. But then you realize it's just small things. It's not really important. Mm -hmm. And so you, you have done nothing. So I, I think it's, this is really the great satisfaction knowing that you're progressing. Yeah. That's, that's amazing feeling. Yeah. I'm just going to read uh, something that... Exactly. Yeah, I, I don't see any comments. Yeah, that's okay. So, um, <laughs> so she's saying, loved it. For a moment, imagine life as, as a game in which we are juggling some balls in the air. Let it be. Yeah. Um, hang on, sorry, it's a, it's a bit long. This one sucks. Let it be. Work, family, health, friends, and spirit. And we're keeping all of these in the air. We will soon understand that work is a rubber ball. If we drop it, it will bounce back. I like that. But the other four balls, that. family, health, friends, and spirit, are made of glass. So if you drop one of these, they will be irrevocably scuffed, marked, nicked, damaged, or even shattered. They will never be the same. So you must understand Whoa. that and strive for balance in your life. As the key in life, and the, as the key in life's juggling act is to drop the number of ball, rubber balls, not the crystal ones. Oh, that's fascinating. Those that will, That's very nice yeah, said. those that will shatter into a thousand pieces and can't be put together again, because I think balance is not just better time management, but better boundary management. Balance, yeah, means totally. Making choices and enjoying these choices, hundred percent, exactly. Yeah, and I like, yeah, and you're very well said. Yeah, because there is there is the boundary piece, but there's the time piece, and the piece is yeah. just as important. And yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm, we could talk very all, important. we could talk about, you know, all, we could talk all night, I'm sure. Yeah. Um, yeah. Oh, there's so much to say. Oh my <laughs> gosh. But um, I want to ask you, cause I know you're working on something new. Like, tell us what, tell us what you're up yeah. to these days. Yeah, actually, these days, my real priority in business is to I'm launching a brand new masterclass. So this is a totally new uh, masterclass that I'm launching. And so the title is how to thrive both as an entrepreneur and a mom without losing balance. Love it. And it's the 
and I will really explain the things on how, yeah, it's, it's explain, self-explanatory, how to thrive in your business and in, as a mom without losing this precious balance. Because I know that high achievers, we want to get success in all areas. We put a lot of pressure on ourselves and sometimes we have trouble to get the results and sometimes we do get the results, but we lose the balance instead. So I would really give uh, my, my secrets to not fall into this trap and to to take control of your life again. So that this is going to be amazing. I prepared the content. I worked on that. I'm really, really excited. So I, I would, I think everyone would have a great, great uh, value from oh, that, from that masterclass and it's totally oh, free. I'm excited. So yeah, if you me too. Definitely Very drop the link below. Cause I'm sure whoever's watching yeah, well. would love to partake <clears throat> in that, especially since it's free yeah, sure. and like just yeah. even what we've totally. talked about today. It's, it's, it's just a lot of good, things and they're simple things it's like they're simple but like you said we need the reminder sometimes yeah and exactly yeah so it's been so great having you on today I'm yeah ex- me too it was it was really great I'm excited <laughs> thank you so much for having me I love sharing yeah. that I um I'm so excited for and for baby Laura I can't wait to see more pictures yeah yeah, sure, sure. I love to share. Sometimes I have to reframe myself like, oh, I'm not sharing pictures all the time because I don't want to spam everyone. But I, I, I love her so much that I, I could watch her picture all day. Oh my gosh, I bet. <laughs> well, for everyone listening, thanks for tuning in. And if you are on replay and you have questions, feel free to ask. Um, yeah, for sure. And I will be looking out. And uh, thanks for coming on. And thanks to everyone for joining. Yeah. Thanks so much. Love you lots. Yeah, thanks so much, Natalia. And thank you to everyone watching. And as I said, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to, to reach out. And I can't wait to see you uh, on my master class. <gasps> yeah. Okay, my darling. Thank you so see much. You soon. Bye, everybody. Have a nice evening. You Bye. Too. Bye.